Hello, and thank you very much for taking a look at our business plan specific for a hospice. Uh, very quickly, I'll walk through the document and I'll show you the uh, financial model. It has an automated table of contents, so as you add content, these page numbers will automatically adjust for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of the business. And all the charts and graphs that you see can be modified specific for the needs of your business as well. Chapter two is an overview of the financing and how you intend to use the funds you're looking to raise. Chapter three is an overview of the hospice services, and you can adjust this as needed. Chapter four is in, uh, the industry analysis, which uh, is current through this year. Chapter five is the marketing plan. Chapter six is the overview of your organization, uh, headcount and payroll, and you can adjust any aspect of these figures. Chapter seven is the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement. Cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break-even analysis and business ratios. And then the first year we break down the profit and loss uh, monthly. And it's quarterly for year two and quarterly for year three. And the same with the cash flow analysis, broken down monthly for the first year, quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three. Let me just scroll back up. And here is the financial model. Uh, very easy to use. Uh, right away, you may have noticed this dashboard here. This allows you to see in real time any changes you're making. So let's just change first month's revenue for hospice services to 85,000. As you can see, this dashboard updated and as did everything else. This way you can uh, uh, try different ex uh, experiment with different revenue profiles, add different revenue centers, change your underlying uh, costs and see how it impact everything right here uh, rather than having to flip between tabs. Once you do that, put in this information, sorry about that. You go over to the uh, personal table. Here you put in the salaries and the headcount and outcomes comes your payroll table. You put your source of funds here, your use of funds there. And once you do that, out comes your profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, uh, those expanded profit and loss statements you saw at the end of the plan. Same deal with the cash flow analysis, your revenue overview, your loan amortization table, tax assumptions, break even analysis, and your business ratios. And that's essentially it. Uh, certainly there's additional supporting documentation that comes along with this. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to reach us anytime. Thank you for taking a look. Take care.